Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. Uh, and uh, we're covering scam coins. All right, we're doing an update on, uh, on Golem or GL GLM, which is the name of their, uh, of, of their token. Uh, in general, right now, there's just not that much to cover. All right, if you, if, if you look at the market right now, you look at the top gainers in the top 100, there's not much going on, all right? So I know and I followed Gollum uh, throughout this weekend, uh, starting from uh, no, starting from Saturday morning. It's been very bullish. And then apart from that, what you see is that the funding rates are also relatively low and they've been low for some time right here, uh, as you can see, since the 27th of April. So that means that there's potential for some sort of a big scam rally. Uh, so that's what, what I wanted to talk about. Now, in general, Gollum... It's a serious project, all right? And I'm, I'm not trying to tell you that this whole project is a scam. But the thing is, is that it is historically quite uh, quite manipulated, all right? In the past, it's, it's seen quite a lot of big spikes, big rallies, uh, a lot of volume. And that's also what you see again right now, especially if you look at this volume. Uh, you can see that most of it is coming from Upbit, which if you don't know, if a lot of the volume comes from Upbit and those other... Uh, relatively shady exchanges, which you can see right here with all the moderate confidences, usually it is manipulated. Now, does that mean anything for in, in regards to the price? Not necessarily, all right, because we can still be bullish and we can still be bearish. Uh, but in general, it does mean that there is some, some manipulation going on, uh, which means that for retail, it's always more risky to trade, all right? Most of retail will lose money on this, and that's also why I want to tell you to be careful. Uh, but in general, it just means more volatility, all right? And that could also be a positive thing. And we know how, how strong Gollum can be uh, from what we've seen in the past. So maybe now, especially with those funding rates, there's some sort of potential here. Uh, so that's why I wanted to make a video on this. I mean, in general, if, if, you're still not if, if you're still not convinced that there is some manipulation going on, uh, we'll have a look at some other numbers which can help us. And, and that's this, all right? If you, if you look at... Um, if you look at the open interest right there, you can see that that has increased massively, um, like by times 15 or so. And, uh, and, and this is where kind of the, 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 the weird thing starts to play out, all right? Because what you can see is that there's still much more buying, both in futures and uh, spot, than selling. Uh, but there is a bit of a divergence right here, because you can see that the open interest, the amount of positions are being closed. So the, the amount of positions are being closed while the CVD goes up. So that means that that's long positions being opened and short positions being closed, uh, which is relatively, relatively positive. And especially that in combination with the fact that spot buying, which is the green line down here, is also still going up, gives me the, the, the belief that we can actually have some very strong potential and some, some strong momentum coming in. But ultimately, the main thing I would still have to wait for is some sort of confirmation. The main resistance level right now is 60 cents, uh, which just above there, probably around 63 cents, there's also a pretty relevant uh, uh, a trend line. Do I think we can rally from here? Yes. But what we need to see is two things. And this is this is the most relevant thing, right? What you should assume right from, from here, um, and, uh, and, and just try to follow me, but, but you should assume that we're just going to crash down. That's the best thing to do. But if we do get a breakout above 60 cents, while these numbers are still kind of doing the same, so while the spot buying is still is, is still going up and we see a positive CVD in terms of the, the futures, then I actually do think we can have a massive rally up to 75 cents again, um, uh, equaling the, the top right here. So that's the main thing to watch, 60 cents. Before that, I, I don't think, like, like right now we are ranging between 60 and like 46 uh, cents. There's not much going on in this level, all right? If we break above 60 cents and the numbers are still good, that's interesting. Uh, but if we if we just stay in this in in this box right here, eventually we'll just drop down below 46 and drop back down to the to the support levels we were at before. Uh, so that's what I think you need to know about Golem for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.